Okay, this is Paul Taylor with Velocio. I'm a senior solutions architect focused on supply chain management for D365. And I've been working in the warehouse space, WMS, with Dynamics for about 10 years now. Um, I want to cover a new feature. I find it very exciting. Uh, it's the Bartender Cloud integration for label printing with D365. So this is coming out in version uh, 10.0.34 and I've set it up and tested it out and I suspect a lot of people may have questions how this works. So I wanted to go ahead and just put a quick video out and show how this works. So here I've created a bartender label. This is you know, a typical receiving type label we would use in the warehouse. So we've got our license plate here, a PO number, item barcode and item description and the nice thing about bartender you've got all these designer tools you know you can this is way better than the ZPL formatting uh, that, that we're all used to when it comes to WMS so uh, bartender's got a great designer program so what we do with this we design this on our bartender designer software and then we're going to upload that into bartender cloud so you can see I've uploaded this receiving uh, label right here into Bartender Cloud. So I can go and select my printer and I can actually print that label uh, from here. Okay, but what we're gonna do is print this directly from D365. So let me go into D365 and I'm gonna show some of the setups around this and how we get Dynamics pointed to this bartender label and ultimately print the label. So we'll come into D365 and head over here to external service definitions. So this is where we're going to start our configuration and all this is documented out on the Microsoft site. So I just copied and pasted from there, uh, but we can edit the operations here and this is all documented as well. All this needs to be set up uh, in order for this to work come back and go into the external service instances and here's where we're connecting to bartender cloud again the only thing we need to do is get a secret from uh, bartender cloud and there's some documentation on how to do that as well okay so we've got that set up um, another key setting that we're going to want to check is in our warehouse management parameters and we're going to want to use this new feature here, use label layouts for license plate labels. So that is a requirement that needs to be turned on. Next, we're going to go take a look at our label uh, printers. And I've got this hooked up to my home office printer. Now, typically this would be like a Zebra printer out in the warehouse. You know, this would be one of the warehouse printers, receiving printer. Uh, but you can see this is actually my uh, my printer right here, and it's hooked up to use Bartender Cloud. And next, we're going to go take a look at our label layout. So in the label layout, uh, this is a license plate label. There's three options here. I've used license plate label for this one. Okay, so this needs to be set up with variables as the definition type. I'll tell you what, the one thing that tripped me up when I was setting this up is um, I needed to put this main path in the librarian. So if we come back to Bartender Cloud, you can see I'm pointing to this receiving.btw label. I come up here, I don't see anywhere where it says main. So that was one thing. It took me a little, little bit to figure that out. And we're going to print a quantity of one. And here's where we can map in all of our fields. So I just map these in from the uh, fields of display here. Description, item ID, license plate, and order number. Um, after that, document routing, that setup is the same. So this is just pointing to my printer, and I'm using this receiving layout. And that's it on the setup, so let's go test it out. So I'm going to head into, uh, let's go open up our purchase orders. And I've got a PO already created, we can use for this testing, 350. While that opens up, I'll open up the warehouse application 
Just go into inbound, purchase receive, and we'll go ahead and punch in this PO number. All right, item, quantity. Okay, and that will print a label out to my printer. Let's just go take a look at the license plate that's created. Have a look at work details. All right, that's going to be license plate 132. And I will attach a uh, photo of that label to prints. Um, so it's really neat. Uh, I'm super excited about this because I've used Bartender a lot in the past. I know a lot of clients have complex labeling needs, and uh, Bartender is a good, good fit for that. So I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, thanks. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Thanks, bye.